whole roasted benzino topped with Greek lado lamino sauce. This is an impressive fish worthy of company, but so easy to make. Let me show you how. We're working with a whole fish that actually has been scaled and cleaned at your given grocery store. They can do this for you and it saves a whole lot of time. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut a couple slits on each side of the fish. Next, we're just gonna give this, the fish a simple seasoning of lots of kosher salt and black pepper going into these slits that you created, going in the cavity part. Turn over. Season well on this side as well. We're gonna set this aside for a moment. We're gonna work on a couple of things that are going in that cavity of the fish. And I'm just simply going to slice half moons of this onion. And then we're gonna go in with one washed lemon and just simply slice the lemon into rounds. Grab yourself a sheet pan like so. Drizzle of extra virgin olive oil on the bottom of your pan. Brush the Evo. Fish loves the olive oil and olive oil loves fish. Look at the pearls of wisdom. Transfer your beautiful seasoned fish onto your baking sheet. We're gonna open up the fish like so. And we're gonna stuff the cavity with the lemon slices and the onions. This is gonna be a very lemony situation and it's going to be epic, trust me. So a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's perfectly rich and it needs it. And then just kind of brush it. All right, we're gonna roast this baby up. The oven is heated at 400 degrees and we're gonna put it in all for 10 to 15 minutes in total. While the fish is cooking, we're gonna work on a couple of final beautiful touches that we'll add to it when it's finished. So we're gonna slice up some cherry tomatoes. We also need us some fresh dill. So I have a recipe for the Lado Lemono sauce, which I use on a lot of other things, including salad. And in this case, it's going to be on my beautiful fish. Little garlic. Garlic goes in. Now we need a boatload of lemon. So juice of two lemons, one to two garlic cloves, good pinch of kosher salt, good pinch of black pepper. And by pinch, I mean a lot. Good pinch of dried oregano. Grab some very good extra virgin olive oil. This is why I'm using my Greek Early Harvest extra virgin olive oil. It's rich, it's got a nice peppery finish, and that's what I want on my fish. As we pour in, we're going to whisk. Keep whisking. Vigorously, continuously. Beautiful things are happening. And it smells like heaven. It's time to go take a peek at the fish. It's looking good. I'm going to stick it now under the broiler because I would like to see some color on the top of this fish for a good, oh, three-ish minutes or so. Woohoo! Here it is. We have just a couple of finishing touches, you guys. First of all, this is the beauty right here. This is all the flavor for your cooked fish. Going in with the Lado Lemon Sauce. You want a good, generous drizzle of this beautiful golden sauce, very lemony, and you might even go into the cavity. Deliciousness. If you have some left, make my Greek salad and use the stuff on top of it. Then we're gonna go here and do some tomatoes, a little bit of dill. And this, my friend, is a fish platter Greek style so party worthy, beautiful Greek Brenzino recipe up on the MediterraneanDish.com. I will see you later, ciao.